If you're going to be adding text and you want to make a poster or a leaflet, you really are better to use a text box. It's very difficult to format the text and move it around with the freedom that you probably want usually. So you just go to insert and text box. I usually just choose a plain one and now you can see I can lift this box up and put it wherever I want. I can also drag out the corner of the box to make it the shape that I want as well. So in here, I'm just going to type in the heading for my poster, which is a kind of a leaflet advertising for more volunteers at Community Garden. So I type into the box here and then just the same as you would with text in Word, highlight it, go to home and then choose the font you want and the size that you want. So this just acts like a normal uh, set of text would do in Word and you can make it kind of bigger. You can also go for bold. You need to think about how big the text box is because that limits the size of the writing that you can have. Once you've done that, the best thing to do is do right click and format shape because there's some features you might not want. So I don't want to have a line around the box, but it comes automatically with a line. So I want to get rid of that. So I click on line and then I choose no line here and that takes that away. Same thing here, I've got a white fill going on here which I don't really want, so I'm going to click on the fill and choose no fill. So now you can't really see that there's a box there at all, all you can see is my writing, which is the effect that I wanted. But I can still pick up my box and move it and resize it, and I can also uh, make my text a little bit bigger. So I'm going to see if I can just notch up a size here um, without losing too much of my writing. So it's really helpful if you've watched the previous video there on shapes. A combination of shapes and text boxes together means that you can have a much more creative design. So the other thing I want to have here is another text box at the bottom of the page to give people a bit more information about what this volunteering is and who they could get in touch with. So the same thing, I'm just going to click insert text box, I want a plain box, I'm going to drag that down to where I want it to sit and resize it. And then I'm going to quickly type in all the information that I need. So I've put all my information in here. I've still got the same issue of this line around the box and the white fill. So same thing, back to format shape. Uh, this time I'm wanting no line. But in the fill, I've decided I'm going to have a gradient fill. So it means that my box is going to be coloured, but not all one colour. It's kind of like a, you know a slow gradient from light to dark. So I'm going to pick one of these gradient layouts here, and I think I'm going to go with this green theme because that's sort of fitting with my gardening theme here. So you've got loads of different options that you can play around with on this side and if you pick these little tags up and move them left to right you'll see that the white area is getting whiter and bigger and equally if I pull in this part here then I've got a little bit more of a dark area going on. Um, so you can really play about with it. You can have it two-tone or three-tone so you wouldn't need to have just green and white. You could have a whole range of different colours going on here in the box and it just makes it a little bit more engaging for people to look at and a bit more eye-catching. So now that I'm happy with the way the box has turned out, the only thing I might want to do is resize it a little bit and maybe just blur the edges of it. I think that it's still looking a little bit of a harsh line. So you can really play about with your design and move things around. I'm just going to bring my writing up a little bit and bring this box in at the sides a little bit more so it's not so so cramped. Also, as you move it and hover, you'll get a center line up that'll show you it's sitting right in the middle. So that's quite helpful as a feature. Um, and then when you come up here to your drawing tools, you have different shape kind of presets. So you've got all sorts of shadows that you can put on. And the one I'm looking for is this one um, around softening the edges. So you can soften in and I think I maybe want to go for about sort of halfway kind of softening. That looks like a good one. So it's just taken, you know, a little bit of the edge off the box and made it a little bit blurry.